got me leaning You about to make a mistake I'm so far gone Bad blood turned on I burned to anyone in my way Welcome back to the channel. I am Justin B. McBride. I've got Hillary with me inside of Cool Rick. We have just left Bryce Canyon National Park. It was spectacular. And right now, we're smack in the middle of Kodachrome Basin State Park here in Southern Utah. I uh, thought I'd show you a little bit of what this looks like on our drive to Capitol Reef. So jump in and enjoy the ride. All right, we've arrived at State Park number two and uh, it's a petrified forest. The pamphlet says that the hike is a mile but could be moderate to strenuous and we're doing it in 85 degree weather. Wish us luck, all the luck. But you know what, we got nothing else to do so we'll just take our time. Also, I hope those dogs don't come on the hike. That'd be kind of annoying. Okay, this is the beginning. A 200 foot climb. Please be worth it. After all of yesterday's hikes, we realized that we did those switchbacks twice within 24 hours. So, to squeeze another hike in today, well, I'm feeling like a boss. Me too, I'm feeling good. Like a lady boss. <laughs> Up we go. And I do it all with this stupid camera. Man, what am I thinking? You guys better like this video. The reality is after all the fun we had in Bryce, this is kicking my butt. And you can tell by my breathing, I'm huffing, I'm puffing. I'm about to blow this house down. Uh, but we're up on the plateau, it feels like. Um, elevation gain so far of 200 feet exactly. So, huh, I hope that's right. I hope we're done. Hope we're up on these old rock trees soon. So that was our first petrified tree here in the petrified forest. I really fell in love with the bark pattern. I think that was so cool. Cause that's like 350 million years old. Man, that's old. <laughs> she loves me. It is old though. 350 million years. Can't even fathom. Oh, maybe that's just the heat talking. It's hot. Oh, that is really old. Thanks. <laughs> It is old. For a one mile trail, we are 0.86 of a mile into it, and we've only seen one tree. I don't quite think one petrified tree makes a forest. I guess maybe this rock, nope, that rock isn't one. Maybe it is one. This is probably one, but it's just a rock. It is one. I spoke too soon. Check this out. Coming off the mountain, I'd say it was worth it. Totally. I almost so didn't fun. do it. It was so hot. But I think it was worth it. If you're in the area, I mean, what else you got going on? You're just driving, right? Stop and check it out. Could be something fun to look at. The last one we looked at was probably the coolest because it really looked like just a, a log frozen in time. So we're gonna jump back to Cool Rick here in a minute and continue the drive. Oh, Sammy's. Yeah, well, did you not forget that I need to eat? Yeah, gotta feed her every four hours. Like clockwork. Okay, <laughs> down the trail we go. Sammy's coming up. You guys won't be there for that. So, driving coming up. As promised, our bellies are filled and we're back on the road. We've just passed through Escalante proper and we're heading towards Boulder where Anasazi State Park is. And as we understand, it's full of some really cool ancient ruins. So. So 
So we just came over a crest and we couldn't help but stop at this lookout because this is probably beyond insane. This view, I can't, the camera's not gonna capture it and I'm so sorry. Here you go. This road is insane. Oh my gosh, I have the heebie-jeebies. We are <laughs> on top of a ridge. It is cliffs on both the left and the right side. Like, I, eyes are glued on the road right now. I am blown away. Absolutely, like, I think it finally widens up up here. I don't even want to look down at the video. <sighs> Man, like, it's like I right here, I'm yeah. just, that was, that was really cool, but also freaky. Not a single guardrail. Well, here we go. Anasazi State Park and Museum. Time to mask up and go in. Okay, so behind me is a replica of the ruins that we're about to see. It's honestly, I mean, if this is true to size, these weren't very large people or they were used to getting into small spaces because the doors can't be taller than four feet. Inside is probably five feet to the ceiling. Crazy stuff. Crazy to think that someone lived in something this size. It's insane. It's cool. All right, let's check out the actual ruins though. The whole concept of this place is really cool. Like, this was someone's community. They lived here, they laughed here, they loved here, you know? Like, this is someone's ancient home. And to see just a, like a glimpse and get a, I don't know, a quasi understanding of how you lived in this terrain before it was what it is now. It's cool to think about what this may have looked like when it was occupied. It's really cool. And I mean, architecturally, it's it's masonry, right? It's all rock. And then a couple lintels to cover doors, a truss system, kind of a post and lintel. So it's almost got like an Egyptian feel, hmm. which is interesting if you've studied any architectural history. Uh, and that would be the same materials that they'd have. Yeah, very similar, like primitive technology to build a structure to withstand, you know, weather elements, other, attack, right? Because I'm sure that was something that was, this was somewhat of a fortress. Really cool. Cool place. It's saying it's 800 years old. 800 years old is what Hillary just said. Wow. Wow. What a cool spot. Um, we've been driving for a really long time. We're starting to get goofy. We just That's got, we yeah, <laughs> we just had a really tired part of the drive. Yeah. Right after the, the big, beautiful, open, Rock Canyon area. Yeah, we hit 9,600 feet yeah. and oh, it just kind of yeah. meandered through the, the, the forest and... Which oof. was weird, the forest looked a lot like Yellowstone. Yeah, it did. So I didn't, I had a, I was a little confused on where I was at from like 30 to 40 minutes. The uh, good news is, is we are about 200 yards from the entrance sign to Capitol Reef, which is our fourth national park in seven days. Uh, I love Capitol Reef. It is yeah. so cool. It's a really small little park, but it has so much history. It's like a small park that's grand. Yeah, grand yeah, little park. Yeah, it's a grand little park. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to go up here. I'm gonna go by the schoolhouse and see if yeah. the pie stand is still open. Oh man, we're cutting it close. It's five o'clock. Let's just punch it. I, it's a national park. You don't speed through a Justin, national punch park. Punch it for pies. Punch it for pies. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, uh, why were you speeding? I had to punch it for punch pies. It for pies. Anyways, the story on the pies is that there um, were pioneer settlers here, and they had lots of fruit orchards, and um, they're famous for their fruit pies. So we'll see if that's even still a thing that happened a few years ago when we were here and they had little pie stands open. But we were on a stupid diet and 
down diet like opted gummies. out of the pies, which I've always been mad at because that was a fun experience we missed out on. This is all true. 100% facts. So stupid. So anyways, cross my fingers for some pies tonight. Don't give Like, this is a theme of our last few episodes, isn't it? Just, the McBrides get skunked. <laughs> so the pie shop looks close. It actually looks like they haven't opened it up this season. So it's probably closed because of COVID. So that makes me feel a little bit better because we did just miss the visitor center by six minutes. Yeah, because they closed at so, five, which feels a little early, I'm going to say. Okay. I just remembered it's 4th of July. Now I oh, feel bad. Okay. <laughs> now I feel bad. I yeah. was getting mad. <laughs> Not so bad. All right. Well, okay, we're going to... Okay, Ranger, go enjoy your 4th of July. Yeah, sorry. Um, pies we... have been closed all season, it looks like, so that's no fun. But um, anyways, we're still at the park, which is really, really pretty. It's the craziest scenery where we've got these great big orchards and then Red Rock. Yeah, and you can pick your own fruit here. I don't think we need to do that. I'm just using this as a means to turn us around. Oh, that's kind of fun. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. I have another spot in mind, and you know how that goes with me. We won't get it. We won't get it. We'll get there, and we'll probably sleep on the side of the road. You know, that's okay. At least we get to go to sleep. Because I'm kind of tired. Yeah, that hike really won't be out today, actually. Yeah, after a week of pretty gnarly hikes. Oh, okay, well, McBride's get skunked again. That's okay. This is still going to be a really pretty drive. You'll enjoy it. It's very enjoyable. <laughs> I'm quite the wordsmith today. I think we're tired. I can't think. Okay, so we stopped to see some petroglyphs. I'm not gonna do any vloggy parts here because I'm gonna put my long lens on so that we can zoom in and get a good look at them. Woohoo! Okay, we have officially left Capitol Reef National Park and we are pooped to say the least. Yeah. So we are uh, gonna split today's adventures into two different episodes and end this one here. That's nice because I don't want to talk anymore to the camera. Yeah, and we need to eat before we <laughs> film anything more. I know we're too tired for saying really weird yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that's been cut out of this video that you guys didn't even get. Lots of takes to say one Yep. Okay, so I'm ending it. Uh, if you want to catch the next episode of us trying to get the uh, lunar eclipse, then by all means, subscribe so you can get that. But that does do it for us. So if you liked the video, please like the video. If you have a question, leave us a comment. And if you want to hang out again, like I know you do, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Justin B. McBride. <laughs>